Hello, my beautiful colleagues. Happy New Year to everyone. I hope everyone is well. I'm here again with a new video, this time to introduce a weather routine for your ESL little ones, uh, your kindergarten pre-primary school level students. My name is Maranthi Hasapis. I'm an English language school teacher here in Greece. I have a BA in English language and literature from the Aristotle University of Thessaloniki, and I'm the author of the book, Not an Ordinary Story. So the duration of these lessons are approximately two to four lessons, 45 minutes each. Of course, you will implement them at the beginning of each uh, of your lessons from the first moment that you introduce it to your little ones. The objectives are that we will introduce and implement a weather routine that is similar to the one that students do every morning in their uh, native uh, language in their kindergarten classes. Uh, we will use TPR a method and songs to help students learn everyday language in a fun and interesting way. Uh, the students will also learn and practice new vocabulary with the use of a variety of interactive activities, songs and games. And then I will show you a couple of activities that you can use to supplement with asynchronous uh, learning, uh, e-class in this case. So to begin our weather routine, uh, we will introduce uh, the first weather terms. Look outside. What's the weather like today? Is it sunny, cloudy, rainy, snowy? And it's sunny, cloudy, rainy, snowy. Uh, after our good morning routine and song, the English language teacher would say, let's look outside and take all the students to the window. And with hand gestures, they would all look outside. Then uh, the teacher would ask, what's the weather like today? And she would sing the weather song, which is basically, oh my darling, very slowly and with motion so that the students will get used to it and understand what the teacher is trying to show them. For example, what's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it sunny, cloudy, rainy? Is it snowy out today? And then the teacher would get the student's reaction and elicit the new vocabulary from them so they would understand what the teacher was trying to show them. And then go to the class circle again and then the teacher would teach them the first set of weather terms with motions and flashcards. For example, you can see the four flashcards that I used. Sunny, sunny, sun, sun, sun. And we would use motions. Sunny, sunny, sun, sun, sun and etc. Then the teacher would tell the students or show them, uh, look outside, look outside. Uh, and then I would ask, is it cloudy out today? Is it snowy out today? I would do this approximately three times with gestures and the flashcards if necessary. Usually it's not necessary. And then I would elicit the response, no, it isn't. And I would teach them in a motion so that they can learn it easier. No, it isn't. Uh, of course, I would leave that day's weather last, uh, where I would say, is it sunny out today? And then I would go ding, 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 ding. Yes, it is, with a thumbs up gesture. Yes, it is. And we would say it lots of times. Yes, it is. Of course, this is the first time that they will learn this um, weather routine. And at the beginning of every lesson from then on, you can learn, you can do it um, together with the students. Now, after the students pick that day's correct weather card, you would put the weather cards in front of them. And uh, at the beginning of each lesson, you would choose one student, a different student each day to choose that day's weather. They would put it on their weather chart that you can see in front of you. I have a weather chart at, in, behind me always uh, during the lesson and then the students would stick the weather card uh, in the box where it says today is they would repeat the word today is sunny and then we would sing uh, today's weather song which is today is a sunny sunny day clap clap so of course it's the uh, if you're happy and you know it melody uh, and it depends on the weather that day, you would change the main vocabulary. Now, if you if you have two types of weather, then you could just say today is a cloudy, sunny day, for example. Okay. Now, after the first introduction or after the beginning uh, of your weather routine in each one of the classes that will follow, 
you can uh, practice with some fun activities. Of course, you should use different games for each lesson. I've given you uh, three examples here. The first game would be to choose the correct weather card, um, as you can see in the first uh, two pictures. Uh, in the first one, the teacher holds up two or three weather cards and says a weather word. And if the student chooses correctly, they get to throw a ball into a basket or whatever you think is uh, more interesting for your students. The second game is a memory game with the weather flashcards, as you can see in the bottom photograph. And the third one, my favorite, as you already know, is the jump game. I yell one, two, three. Uh, I say a weather term, for example, sunny. I hold up two cards. And I say one, two, three, jump, and the students jump in the direction um, in order to choose the correct card. They jump left or right to choose the correct word. And uh, you can also give them a fun activity to do, uh, like a weather color page or a weather activity color page. Now, last year I started out with four weather terms. And then I added windy and foggy because the students actually asked their Greek uh, kindergarten teachers what the terms were in English. So we introduced them uh, maybe a month or so after the, the first uh, introduction of the weather routine. And then in spring, I added cold, cool, warm and hot to our weather routine. Now, of course, the weather song had to change. Uh, so you can see it here in front of you. It's what's the weather like? What's the weather like today? Is it sunny? Is it cloudy? Is it rainy out today? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it snowy? Is it windy? Is it foggy out today? Um, then we did our regular weather routine, uh, which included the new terms and uh, today's weather song. Now this year, I introduced all six weather terms right from the start in order to avoid having to change the weather song in the middle of the school year. And both methods were equally successful. I enjoyed it last year and I also enjoyed it this year with the six weather terms and the students had no problems learning them. Uh, last year, I supplemented with some e-class activities. Uh, I created a memory game in eMe content. You can see the link here. I will try to post the link on this YouTube um, uh, on my YouTube channel, but I'm not sure I will be able to do it. So maybe you can copy it. And I also did a weather poster, which is an online uh, jigsaw puzzle, which I created on Jigsaw Planet. It's an amazing um, website. You can go there and create any jigsaw that you like for your students. And I also showed them the How's the Weather song uh, by Super Simple uh, Puppet Super Simple Songs. So that's my weather routine for you. I hope it has been helpful. Uh, I hope we all have a beautiful new year. I hope we are healthy and uh, I hope we get to enjoy our little ones uh, without having any lockdowns or anything like that. So uh, enjoy your weather routine with our little ones uh, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone.